If you wake up in the morning, you start having negative thoughts. Man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm tripping. I just don't feel myself. In the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop. Just stop for a second and start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have, because what you have is substantial. Life is not easy, it is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair, it never was, it isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it, get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. You should never have to question something that's real. All right, you go through it to grow from it. You go through it to learn from it. You don't go through it just to go back to it. That's like putting your hand on a hot stove that you know is hot and expecting it not to burn. Wake up. Stop teaching yourself the same lessons that you should have learned from. You will never move forward with your life, living your life through the rear view mirror. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know, can nothing stop me now. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. Plus one is always gonna equal two. 10 years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend is gonna pay off. You can do this. Small minds. Discuss other people. Gossip. Good minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. Fear of failure. Fear of failure can keep you from taking risk. It can leave you sitting there paralyzed into not taking action. And that is obviously bad. But I don't want you to overcome fear of failure. I want you to be afraid of failure. Fear of failure is good. Fear of failure will keep you up at night planning, rehearsing, going over contingencies. Fear of failure will keep you training hard. Fear of failure will stop you from cutting corners. Fear of failure will keep you working, thinking, striving, and relentlessly trying to be more prepared for battle. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mind. Every single one of them. Think about it. Your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. Practice and practice and practice. Practice makes what? Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. First thing to do is to forsake what's in front of you because the attitude that you bring to what's in front of you will color your entire experience. It will change your character into that of negativity and you'll never ascend. You'll never get more. You'll never expand. You'll stay stuck. You can think about it. You can wish for it. You can hope for it. You can, you can think all about it all as long as you want. But unless you get out, Every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. 
Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle. It becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot. It becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying to get something you never had. You have to do something you never did. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential, the ghost of the ideas you never acted on, the ghost of the talents you didn't use, and they're standing around your bed, angry. Disappointed and upset, they say we came to you because you could have brought us to life. They say, and now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? We got to be excited about the future. We got to do things that make us want to live. It cannot always be about problems every day. I mean, do you want to wake up every morning and everything is just a problem? Well, what, in, what inspires you, and what makes you excited about the future? There's got to be some things like that. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself, yes. cheering for yourself, because life is a marathon, and this might be a challenging leg where you're like, "I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing." Hell no! If you're standing in front of that mirror. You deserve to feel the support and empowerment and encouragement that you need. You are doing so much every single day that you don't give yourself credit for. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. You nothing without discipline. Cause you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it.